What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My Geminis. <laughs> What's going on, Gemini? Welcome, welcome. High vibe, cross watching. Everyone here is loved and welcome. We have that high pitched Gemini. It kind of rings out the demons and shit. <laughs> anyway, that's why I was laughing. Because I know that pitch do irritate some motherfuckers, and that's what Divine had designed it for. Anyway, welcome everyone here is loved and welcome. High vibes only, giving you guys so much love, light, and abundant and healing vibes uh, to each and every one of you. I hope everyone is doing well. I ask you come in. Come on, let's hit that thumbs up, you guys. I have a new channel. Check it out. The details are in the description box below, so come and join that side of the family, too. Um, <clears throat> it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every or nobody. Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher. It could be about the people around your energy, not specifically you. It could be, you know, just people that you know that is in your energy. This could be happening too. Not necessarily you, but it could be you as well. It could be at damn near anything. Okay. So just keep an open mind and don't get greedy with the messages. I am open for reading. So if you want your own personal, then hit me up. Okay. That is in the detail in the description box below as well. Choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Oh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! All right, choir. That's what's up, okay? Um, anything else? Oh, so we're going to see what's going on in the overall energy. We're going to find out what's the tea today, okay? What is the tea going on in Gemini's energy, okay? There is a tower, and somebody is going through some shit, though. I did a little quick little shuffle. Look, the tower and somebody under judgment. Child, they got a lot of conflict and chaos going all around them. Mm-hmm. Okay, the police could have been called. Maybe somebody facing jail time. However the case may be, somebody, yeah, got in the fight. They sure did a lover situation, child. Ooh, somebody from somebody's past, girl, done caught, or boys, done got caught up and shit done slowed down for their ass because they was trying to put in, I don't know, they was working with other people and a fight broke out and a tower had broke out. Something happened at the house. Somebody house caught on fire for some of them. Not everybody, okay? Ooh, somebody was at the house with the lover doing stuff, honey. I don't know if they had something cooking on the stove and some shit got out of control and burnt up the house. And now they got to explain to their other spouse what had happened. I don't know. We're going to get into the tea. We're going to see. Only take what fits and the rest leave alone, okay? You go, Ace. Let me shuffle them. I shuffle these again. Yeah, these is thick cards, honey. There's a lot going on right now. Ponzi, what's going on, Spirit? What's going on in Gemini's? This is his energy. What is the, what's the tea on Gemini's energy, okay? Woo, okay, Spirit. Holy Spirit, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest, white light, pure love only. What do you guys see? What do you see, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know? Ooh, thank you. I like that nice, hard, hollow knock. What's going on? going on spirit with uh -uh. flings and wild things honey oh i told you somebody burnt up the kitchen child overindulging in everything yes they are now they stuck honey too much too fast overindulging and whatever they got into they probably got burnt and scolded yeah they said, maybe somebody left a coffee pot on the stove and it fizzled out and the pot caught on fire too, trying to have this flings and wild thing and everything. Yes. Mm, what's going on, Spirit? What else? What is this lovers in this tear? Moved on. Somebody is afraid that you've possibly moved on. Okay. But um, 
This is someone who you've moved on from, though, who's always caught up in some type of something. They could be into dominatrix or whatnot, whatever the case may be. Mm. Opposites attract, new and exciting, and that's what it was. That's why they got caught up at... Child, they wanted to do something exciting and new. Maybe they were bored with this person, and so now they just invited other people in the... Child, what, tell me more, Spirit, because I feel somebody got caught up at the house. Cursing themselves, bad decisions, and regret. Whoever this is, they done burnt up their shit. Exposed and revealed, because, and now they were exposed. Yes, yeah, self-pleasuring and everything, child. All self-indulgent, self-pleasuring. Opposites attract, new, exciting, and this could be the same sex, though, for some of y'all. Okay, they had had the homeboy, homegirl come to the house and shit like that and had it caught up in a fling. A fire broke out while somebody was doing something that they ain't had no business doing up in the upper room, up in the upper room, <laughs> up over here. Yeah. What else, spirit? Mm. What else, spirit? What is going on? What is the T for Gemini? Mm, mm, mm. Gaslighting. This is someone who was gaslighting you. You're mm, scared tactics, arousing fear and alarm. Scared fear. What is this? What is the scare tactics? Oh shit! Hold on. What is that? Smoking mirrors, misleading and embellishing and things like that. So somebody's a liar. Somebody was embellishing. It was nothing but smoking mirrors. Yeah, for real. The smoke. Somebody caught on. Somebody stove caught on fire while they was out doing some shit in the upper room child and they didn't have no business doing tell me what's the scare tactic spirit so somebody's going to use scare tactics what is that what is this maybe someone was forced into a relationship possibly of secrets being exposed yeah left out in the cold somebody was threatening to leave somebody out in the cold or ghost somebody or expose some type of secrets someone that was in a two of cups i'm confused spirit what is this Guess an illusion has been um no more illusion and confusion. You moved on, I guess, from this illusion confusion, okay? This person with smoking mirrors always gaslighting you, manipulating you and things like that, making bad decisions, always up in third party situations, putting you in conflict, causing chaos and controversy. Now they done possibly so this person possibly left you out in the cold because someone was using scare tactics about exposing something. Being self-indulgent on certain things. What what else, spirit? Being greedy about something. Self, yeah, self-indulging, -indul causing conflict and chaos. Caused a tower. Well, tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is the T? What's the T? Competition, trying to win at all costs. Somebody put you in a competition with somebody else. You said, fuck that. You done moved on. You done dropped this confusion, illusion that this person wanted to keep you in. They were wearing a mask. You didn't have no... You really didn't know how wild this person really, really is. It was nothing but smoking mirrors. They were exposed, okay? So somebody, like I said, they keep getting exposed. And now they stuck. What else? What else, spirit? Rejected. You can't sit with us. Yeah, you done moved on. This is somebody who had literally rejected you. And they thought, they thought you weren't good enough. To sit at, for you to sit at their table. Now I've come to find out they're not good enough anymore to sit at your table. And now this person's extremely emotional, extremely vampire-like energy. Sucker. Yeah, they do. This person possibly does drink blood or eat blood physically. For real, real. Not for everybody. They self-indulge. They're into occultic. They into, yeah, they are into dark arts at the end of the day. Something happened. For some of y'all, it's magic that backfired and went wrong and got them stuck. They ended up cursing themselves and everything. So they left you to go be with somebody else that was into magic or the occult, smoking mirrors, dark arts, whatever the case may be. It was a love spell, illusion, confusion to keep this person trapped in their head about moving forward with you. Okay, now this person's scared, all in fear and anxiety and things like that. Always thinking somebody after them or out to get them or... Whatever the case may be, they go from hot to cold, so they could be bipolar. This person has mental problems and mental issues and things like that. People are being, they're being exposed and seen for this person being imbalanced in things. They used to be a smooth talker, able to talk their way, talk the panties off, talk the whatever off. And now they're not able to do that anymore because people are seeing 
this person for who they really are. And that's why they can't sit at these people. So whatever group that they joined or got with or whatever the case may be, could be um, a coven. Now they got it kicked out of this coven, okay? Because this person, yeah, they could not care less. Yeah. So anyway, this person got kicked out of a coven, okay? They were trying to fit in. Come to find out they didn't fit in like they thought they fitted in. Magic backfired. They didn't know what they thought that they knew. And this coven was angry and kicked this person out because possibly magic is backfiring. And they're having towers in this coven and they're all fighting against months another seeing. I don't know, having, seeing paranormal shit and activities and spiders and insects and things like that. Um, a lot of tantric sex went wrong in this whole situation. What else, spirit? Yeah, tam yeah, the spirit said tantric sex went wrong. Intrusion, forcible entry. Hmm. So, so this person was trying to force themselves. This is astral projection to me that I'm seeing. And they got burnt, clapped, and crunched, and blocked. Your ancestors blocked entry. They were trying to, I don't know, they was doing some type of mirror magic at the gate waiting for entry. Child, your ancestors caught them on the scene in the gangster leans. And some of y'all got goonies on your team as well, unbeknownst to you. But they love you because your ranking is higher. They didn't know your ranking was higher. They got rejected. Okay, they some of them tried to call your fucking goonie ancestors to try to help them. And they got burnt, clapped, and crunched. Your ancestors said, fuck you. No, we not. They were unresponsive, okay? <laughs> they were like, no, bitch. Mm -mm. This person's lazy, the number one. They don't like to do anything. Can't be bothered to do anything. And that's what it was. Naive, financially, a big spender. So this person's immature. I mean, they're irresponsible financially. They're just irresponsible, lazy person. Don't like to work for what they get. They like to use the other, other people. To get what they want. Okay, this is where that gaslighting comes in. Self-pleasuring. They like to have sex to get what they want. This could have been the karmic energy that left. Um, that your person left to go be with. They're lazy. They don't want to work. Okay, they're all about themselves. Self-pleasuring. Okay, being an energy vampire. Just intrus just an intrusive energy on this person. Or you. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. This is exhausting, you guys. There's a lot of differences between you guys. Could be a spiritual difference. You could be spiritual. They could be religious. Okay, you guys could be, you know, just a different mindset. You know, uh, just the way you guys think, the way you guys grew up. Okay, one thing is not like the other. There's just a lot of differences between your you guys. Maybe you're a diva, and maybe or maybe they're a diva. Or I don't feel that you you are a diva in your own right. High vibe, okay? That's number one. Number two, this person's a diva. Number one for what? Like they're they're just self indulgent. It's all about them. They always like to put smoking mirrors, mislead people, and build embellish things. Okay, this person's extremely difficult to please. They're a smooth talker. They're a trickster. Yeah, definitely, and they're deceitful. This person is, okay? This person that's going through this tower, this coven, this scam artist, whoever it is, whatever it is, it's, yeah, number one. Mm. What else, spirit? This is a lot. Uh-oh. Finesse, okay? Yeah, they was trying to finesse you. The smooth talkers trying to finesse themselves out of the cold, but they can't do it no more because they've been exposed, okay? They're left on read. Is it red? Yeah, left on read, ignoring and moving on. And this is you. You're ignoring this person. You're blocking them, okay? And you're moving the fuck on, okay? And what is the scare tactic, spirit? What is the scare tactic? What they trying to do? What the hell are they trying to do? Maybe, oh, some of them are on. I hear this. One of the karmics threatened this person with jail time for i don't know they they were threatened with jail time and secrets being exposed and this person didn't self-pleasure Ooh, i don't want to say that spirit but anyway um yeah whatever it was it was heartbreaking okay it was a third party situation maybe they were going to expose this person that they were trapped in a third party situation or i'm the third party situation or whatever the case may be it was a scare tactic. They got they didn't move forward with you because they didn't want something to be exposed or them being left out in the cold. And so now they're all feeling some kind of way because whatever they invested in, they were actually gaslit. Okay, this person did it for their own pleasure and come to find out that whoever they left to go to ghosted them as well. And that's the truth. They were deceitful. Yeah, they were... Mm, 
and walked away from them. Show did. Show did. And now this person is feeling some kind of way. All in their emotions and everything. You're unresponsive. You don't want nothing to do with this person no more. You feel they are very emotionally draining, physically draining, everything. This person now wants to come and intrude. Be careful, you guys. This person is trying to find a way to intrude back into your energy, whether that be physically with forcible entry. Okay, so some of these people are feeling rejected and angry and upset because whatever they invested in, it didn't work out for them, okay? They went to a straight diva for some of them, okay? Somebody that was extremely hard to please, that was a liar, making smoke, creating smoking mirrors and things like that, um, overindulging, doing too much. So this person overindulged in the wrong energy. They thought this was their end-all, be-all, and it wasn't their end-all, be-all. It was an energy vampire, somebody that took them for everything that they have and someone who was their complete opposite because they thought this person was new and exciting. What else, spirit? Mm, sheeple. Oh, followers. To the, so this person's a follower. They are not a leader. This person goes with the wind. They're worried about other people's opinions. They're worried about the other. You know, how is this one going to think? How is that one going to think? They don't never like to use their own mind and stand in their own power. This person could... Child, number one, they feel, I'm going to just say they're homeless, okay? Because I keep looking at the five of uh, pinnacles right here, okay? So this person may be coming towards you in your home to finesse you for a place to stay. Honestly, yeah. But this person's a danger to themselves, okay? They put themselves in harm's way all the time. Like they're always self-sabotaging, always finessing people. And you know when they come towards you, you guys be careful because they could have... Um, a lot of um, conflict and chaos people after them, okay? They, yeah, to get revenge, okay, on this person for doing the same thing to them. Yeah, crunk and, ooh, this person is high and crazy, child. This, they could be on drugs and everything, especially with this um, Seven of Cups, illusion and confusion and things like that. Ooh, be careful because for some of y'all, not everybody, okay? Now, I don't know who this is. They're both karmic energies now, just depending on which karmic you're talking about. One of them is going to try to come to your house and smooth talk their way into your home. But they're going to be high and kind of crazy and delusional a little bit. And they're going to try to force themselves into your home because a lot of them know that you guys live alone. And they, they know that you guys, but you're never alone, though, even though they may feel and see that you're not really, because you 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 hang out with yourself, okay? Yeah, and your ancestors are always around, and they're like, no, you cannot sit with us. That's what your ancestors say. No, you cannot sit with, so your ancestors are protecting and blocking you from this energy vampire at the end of the day, because they overindulge in pretty much everything, and now they're stuck, and they don't have any forward movement because they're irresponsible, number one, okay? Um, they're careless and extremely unreliable. Then you cannot depend on this person to follow through, to come through to nothing. They always start things and then they stop it and then they come back and then they have a sob story of why they couldn't finish what they started because somebody else had did something that prevented them from doing something. And that's why they can't. And this is why they own drugs because somebody else, they homeless and they don't have nowhere to go and it, it eases their pain and shit like that. So this person... Child, when they get to your house, then they and if you don't take them back, child, they're gonna they're gonna try to talk about I'm gonna uh, alive myself if you don't take me back. Spirit say, yeah, they might have a, a knife or something, child, and if you don't take them back, they talking about unaliving themselves and things like that because you done canceled they ass out and shit like that. This person is a bigot. They are prejudiced, and this prejudiced person, this person could have did some type of identity theft or stole your identity or something with your identity, someone else's identity. Fitting the bill, they could have a. This could be your gang stalker who they got with that looked like you that was trying to be your copycat or whatever the case may be. But whoever this energy is that we're talking about, they have behavioral and mental problems and issues and things like that. Okay, they're hostile, anti social, angry with you because you're still moving forward, you still get invested in yourself, you still get in the bag. And this person has been exposed for their lies. You see them who, who they are. They're hateful. They're vindictive. They're mean. They could have legal problems. They could have a, some of them have a PI detective looking after them for all the bullshit that they done done. They probably stole from a financial institution and got this in private investigator looking out of what's going on right now. 
Spirit say, whatever you got going on, you need to celebrate quietly because this person is trying to find you. They're trying to come towards you and disturb your peace. Um, but you know what? They're being blocked, but just you got to stay ready, okay? Okay? If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Okay? Mum's the word. Qu quietly celebrating. And happy birthday to the Libras and the Libra Cuspers and the Libra gang, gang, gang. Happy birthday to y'all. Definitely. Y'all about to have a birthday out of this world. Definitely. And some of y'all are earth angels out of this world, okay? Yes, you're getting downloads. Your ancestors are giving you downloads literally about this person being left out in the cold, how they gaslit you and kept ghosting you because they wanted their own self-pleasures and self-indulgement. And now they're all mentally entrapped in their head and everything, wanting to come fight for this shit. They just want to finesse you. That's all. That's all. They just want to finesse you. What else, spirit? Anything else, okay, besides extra trip. Ooh, child, all of that hit the ground. Jeez, Louise. And you know what? I couldn't help it. I just had to let it fall. That person is resisting. Trespassing. Oh, this person is, child, is, so if they don't, some, I just pick up, it's different for each and every one of you. Some of them, they do know where you where you live, and they are, child, driving by your house, unbeknownst to you, child. Yes, they trying to do too much. Um, look, trespassing by any means, and if some of you guys are seeing black cats or gray cats or cats, your animals are going to tell you and give you signs and synchronicities when this person is in your energy. You know, cats are extremely spiritual. They let you, yeah, be careful, y'all. This person's trying to come in and get to you. I don't know. They're trying to get in your energy. I don't know if they're trying to hold you hostage or whatever the case may be. Child, they're trying to poach, dry it. I'm just telling you. This motherfucker's up to no good. That's all I'm saying is because they salty as fuck. They salty as fuck. They mad at you, okay, because you got it going good right now. And they are going through this big-ass tower. Oh, this person is a mama's boy or a mama's girl. And they hoe like too, so you know exactly who I'm talking about. And they a liar. You know exactly who I'm talking about, okay? And they're unstable, okay? I just want to get that out as well. They sent you messages that... You have not read or received because they are unblocked because your ancestors is blocking all that shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Gemini, that's a lot. That's the T, honey. Um, and you're unresponsive to all of this, okay? Because you're like, this motherfucker is not going to be sucking me dry nan more. You, you done. Yeah, they try to put you in a competition and you like, I don't compete. What are you competing for and with? The emperors and empresses don't compete for what? Why? No, we don't. And that's the truth. So, Gemini, y'all be careful. So, what I got out of this is the bottom line. If someone can't get over you, okay, they fucked up royally. They're salty. They feel in some kind of way. They bitter. They mad. They angry. They're hateful. They're prejudiced. They're a bigot. They talk about people behind their back. They're very defensive. They could have legal problems. They could be in and out of jail or have a long um, criminal record or whatever. This person could be homeless right now. They don't have anywhere to go. They're couch hopping. They've been exposed by the people around them. And now this person is calling. Like for if they know where you live, they're trying to figure out a way how to get back into your energy or either take over by force or whatever. I'm just saying, if you answer, don't answer the door. Look out the peephole. Look out your windows. Don't let this motherfucker in. If you have to call the police, I mean, they ain't did nothing. But I mean, just act like you're not home. Okay? Just act like you're not home. Because they have a plan because they're like, well, I don't have nowhere to go. I don't have nowhere to go. Okay, I keep trying to call you and you're not answering your calls or messages, bitch. That's what they feeling. And so they feeling like, well, I'm going to go so they could show up at your house drinking or whatever the case may be. Okay, that took a turn. But yeah, uh, maybe that burning up, maybe that's why this person got caught up at their house. That's where that tower is in the upper room because they got caught. With another lover in the upper room. And they got exposed and they got kicked the fuck out. And so they fucked up they shit. Okay. And that's why they looking for you. Because nobody else will take them in. And not even you. And they don't know that yet. But they feel that because they are a narcissistic energy. And you are an empath with this earth angel energy. That they can bogart and take over. But your ancestors is not having that shit. They not. Okay. They will fuck up a bitch for real. And that's the truth. Spirit <laughs> say that's the truth. Okay. Because your ancestors is low key salty about the way that this person did you. High key, high key, low. Leaving your ass out in the cold, causing towers to their damn baby. Yeah. So they not happy about none of that. The ancestors, they not. They not. So as this person come to your house, they go end up in jail. And there is a PI 
following this person too, okay? Because they've done something criminally like and they are being investigated. Ooh, child, honey. This person is not got to get out of this energy. Gemini, that's been your reading, babies. I love you so much. I hope this has helped. Until next time, bye.